Hi, this is Lucky Robin, and this is update four for the French Biointensive Organic Raised Bed Garden for 2017. Got a lot done today. Got the whole trellis taken down off of this bed and got it filled back up with soil. We added about six inches of soil to bring it back up to where it needs to be. And I will be transplanting the strawberries from here into here, get a little bit more sun that way. And also this bed needs to be brought up about eight inches in, uh, in its soil. So um, the easiest way to do that is to move the strawberries and not, you know, mess around with pulling up a strawberry and putting dirt in and then planting it higher in the same bed, which I've done before, but it's a pain in the neck, especially when it's this low. Took all of the herbs out of here. Um, I'll insert what it looked like when I took the plastic off right here. All right, so we're gonna see how things are doing under here. This is the herb bed. <laughs> Look at the dandelions! Oh my gosh. Okay. That looked like uh, the stuff I wanted to overwinter. Overwintered nicely. So we've got our uh, oregano and marjoram, rosemary and sage. And hyssop down here at the end. So it did well. I'm very pleased. But the dandelion's gonna have to go. The ducks will be happy to get that though. So you can see it, but I've moved these. These are the carrots that overwintered. Well, I planted them in late fall and they were under the plastic. So you can see that some of them are doing really well, actually. And a few, not as well, but still growing. And then the kale is doing a lot better. I've trimmed it up. The sorrel's really exploded. Okay, so that is golden marjoram and that is lavender. That's a poppy that self-seeded. That is dwarf oregano and it is coming back. It's hard to see it, but there's a little bit of growth at the bottom. And that's the parsley. It's really been chewed on. Um, so I don't know if this will make it or not, but if it doesn't, I will just plant more. That's calendula. That's more calendula. That is my golden sage plant. That's some more golden marjoram. That's supposed to be an upright, not a creeping, but it's always cre crept anyway. So echinacea coming back from last year and yarrow coming back from last year. And then that's the two hyssop plants that I planted last year as well. So all of that came out of the herb bed that's on that far side. Yes, George, we've gotten this bed repaired and we have to bring the soil level up about six to eight inches. Looks like six on the one end and eight on the other. Now over here, I've moved the raspberry starts. Um, they will go along here. This has been weeded, this has been weeded and cleared out. So we're going to plant it in there because the raspberries are pretty thin. There was a lot of rot over the winter. So we'll need to thicken that up again with those starts. Um, and these are the ones I dug out of the one bed when I was planting the onions. This is the chard. It's doing fairly well. I pulled out the one kale plant from last year because it was really uh, going to seed. It had flower heads all over it that were about to open and I didn't want that. So 
but that kale plant is doing really well. That one was just planted at the end of fall, I believe, or no, at the end of summer, just before fall. And that's, that plant's from last year. That's a kale um, and another chard. And then there's nothing under the umbrella greenhouse. I just have it there right now. Spinach is still doing well. Bee balm is doing great. And oh my goodness, if you run your hands through this, it is the most amazing smell right now. The leaves are just as fragrant as the blossoms oftentimes. All right, over in that bed, there's sorrel and hyssop and everything else has been cleared out. And over here is, this is where I planted the Weathersfield onions and I'm going to be planting the Cobra Keeping onions. Uh, well, probably right after this video. So we'll be putting um, peas on the trellises there and uh, I'll be putting up three more and we'll do them on the end there too once those, uh, once that garden bed's brought up in its soil level. So that's how the garden's doing right now. Talk to you next week.